How's it going guys, Chris here, checking out that Luger pistol today in Battlefield 1. And just like the M1911 and the MLE 1903, it can be equipped as a secondary weapon for all four of the main kits. So the P08 pistol, or the Pistol Parabellum 1908, is a German semi-automatic handgun designed by George Luger, hence why it's often referred to as being the Luger pistol. The original design of the weapon dates back before the First World War and comes in the form of the C93 pistol. When Hugo Borchardt, the lead designer of the C93, refused to improve the gun after a few criticisms were made on its ergonomics and its cost to produce, his former assistant, George Luger, took over its development and he was appointed to upgrade the weapon and carry out the C93's evolution. The P08 became the result, with a similar design to the C93, but with a few necessary alterations to make it more compact, easier to wield and less complicated to manufacture. Several different nations bought the weapon before the First World War, with the Swiss Army being the first, purchasing the gun in 1900. Even the USA considered buying the pistol before the M1911 showed up, that is. But it wasn't until the year of 1908 when the German Empire decided to adopt the weapon as the standard issue sidearm for the German Army, and this is where it got that P08 designation. Despite having a fairly complicated mechanism, it proved to be an accurate and extremely reliable handgun, seeing quite a lot of use by German soldiers in both world wars, with over 2 million P08 pistols being produced up to 1942. And down to its infamous reputation of being a popular Nazi sidearm in World War II, it's often depicted as being one of the bad guy guns in a lot of modern day movies and games. But anyway, it's time to run over those stats and see exactly how the P08 compares with the other secondary weapons. So as for the kind of damage you're going to be dealing, the Luger pistol can dish out a maximum damage of 30 up to 12 meters, which is then going to decline from here down to its minimum of 15 beyond 33 meters. And if we put those figures into bullets, it should take 4 bullets to take down another player up to 16 meters, though if your opponent lies beyond 28 meters, it could take up to 7 to do the trick. These damage readings are pretty similar to the M1911, apart from the fact that the M1911 can kill in one less bullet in close quarters. And it also means that it's going to have a bit more range and deal slightly more damage than the faster firing pistols, and therefore should take less shots to kill. With a fire rate of 300 RPM, the P08 matches up with both the M1911 and the C96. So it's not exactly lightning fast, but because those bullets have a bit more stopping power than the quicker guns, this helps to balance it out a bit and make everything nice and fair. It's a quicker rate of fire than the more powerful sidearms like the Mars Automatic, the Howder Pistol and the Revolvers, but it's definitely on the slower side when compared to most of the other semi-auto handguns. Now, so far, the P08 might be sounding very similar to the M1911, with them both being all-kit sidearms, both having the same fire rate, and both having a similar damage output. The M1911 does deal that extra damage in CQC though, and might be able to kill in one less bullet up close. But this doesn't necessarily mean that it's the superior weapon, as the P08 is able to cope much better with its recoil pattern, which is one of the M1911's biggest weaknesses. With a vertical kick of 1.5 and a horizontal movement of 0.5, this is going to make the gun feel noticeably more accurate and stable whilst firing. It's not quite as precise as most of the other quicker firing semi-autos, though considering it deals a stronger amount of damage over range, it's not exactly miles worse. The P08 might kick upwards a little bit more than average, but it's still a very accurate weapon, which should overall make it quite a reliable gun to pull out in a heated gunfight. Because its recoil doesn't bounce all over the place too much, and because it has a higher than average minimum damage, capable of killing in up to 7 bullets at all ranges, this allows it to perform better beyond close quarters, as you'll be able to land those shots a bit easier. The MLE 1903 might be able to outperform the Luger in terms of it firing faster, and having a fairly similar damage output, but the P08 is able to retain a higher minimum damage, and ultimately killing one less bullet at distance, which gives it more stopping power against opponents further away. It's got a higher than average muzzle velocity of 350 meters per second, which is more than the likes of the M1911. It should feel more comfortable to use at range, as your bullets are going to fly through the air at a decent speed. With an ammo capacity of 9 rounds at a time, this is more than enough to take someone down. And it's usually enough to kill a second player too, if you land most of your shots on target. If you don't, then that reload isn't going to take too long, with the Luger being a magazine fed firearm. It matches up with the C93, so it shouldn't take too long to swap over those mags and get back into the battle to continue the fight. Because the P08 has that extra 9th bullet over a fair few other pistols, like the M1911 and the MLE, it gives you an extra shot which might be needed to finish off an opponent at longer ranges, 
making it a little bit more reliable and versatile beyond those closer proximities. So in conclusion, the P08 pistol is a good all rounder for the semi-auto sidearms. It's pretty much slap bang in the middle when it comes to damage output, fire rate and accuracy, and the gun is capable of dealing with opponents well in most scenarios. It's slightly less effective up close, being able to kill in the same amount of bullets as the other quicker firing pistols, though it's able to retain its stopping power better over range, making it a bit more consistent when facing off against a player further away, especially with its recoil pattern and muzzle velocity both being fairly respectable too. Its bigger than average mag size should help to ensure that your target is definitely going down, and although the Luger pistol doesn't particularly have any massive advantages or disadvantages, it's a well balanced dependable handgun that performs pretty well, whenever it's needed. So that's just about it for this one guys, thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video or learned something new, then please be sure to give me a like to show me that you did, and of course subscribe to see loads more content new and upcoming. Take it easy, and I'll see you in our next video.